Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech and Life, and today we will be talking about a new topic called linear systems, and we will be talking about a specific method called substitution. So, let's get into it. Now, let's start with what is substitution? Well, substitution is one method that can be used to solve a linear system. Now, a linear system is two or more linear equations. So, in our previous videos, we talked a little bit about linear equations, and basically, a linear system is two or more linear equations together. And essentially, when we're trying to solve a linear system, we're trying to find a single x value and a single y value that satisfies both equations. So each equation would have two variables. Now, before we continue, let's try something. So I'm going to have you guys pause the video here and try to solve both of these equations. Now, let's start with number one. And whatever procedure you use in number one, just continue with that in number two. Now that you're back, let's take this off. So solve y equals x plus 1 if y is equal to 4. So that means we replace the y with a 4 equals x plus 1. And now we can move the plus 1 over to the other side to make it minus 1. And that leaves us with 3 equals x. All we did here was substitute the value of y in for y in the equation, which was 4, and that was a simple equation that we just solved. Now let's solve the second one. It says solve y equals x plus 1 if y is equal to 2x minus 1. Now we just need to follow the same procedure we did back here. Now all we did was take the value of y and put it into the equation that it was asking us to solve. So we do the same thing. We take the value of y, which is 2x minus 1, and we put it into this equation. So we start by rewriting our original equation. y equals x plus 1. And then we take the 2x minus 1. And we plug that in for y right here. So that becomes 2x minus 1 equals x plus 1. And now in our next step, we're going to start moving things around. So we want to move our x to the left side because we want to collect the variable terms on one side and we want to collect the constants on the other side so we move the one to the other side that leaves us with 2x minus x equals 1 plus 1 and that simplifies to x equals 2. now if you want to solve for y all you have to do is take one of these equations put x into it and you'll get the value for y and that would solve the whole linear system so let's look at the official steps to substitution okay on the left we have our steps to substitution and on the top i have written two equations which we are going to solve as we learn about the steps so let's get into it now let's look at the first step the first step is to isolate one variable in either equation now, the thing is, in this example, I have made it so that there already are variables that are isolated. Like x right here, it's already isolated, and y right here, it's already isolated. So we can use either one. So we can skip that step for now. The second step says to take the resulting expression and plug it into the other equation for the corresponding variable and put the expression in brackets. This might be a lot to take in. But let's think about this. Take the resulting expression, so any resulting expression of an isolated variable. So we have y right here, which is isolated, and the resulting expression would be 3x plus 3. Similarly, we have x isolated here, and the resulting expression is y plus 1. y plus 1 seems a little easier to work with, so I chose that one to use. I took the y plus 1, and I essentially plugged it in for x in the other equation, since x is also equal to y plus 1. Now what this has done is that it's made an equation with only one variable left. Now there's only y's in this equation, and I can actually solve it. So I take the y plus 1, and I put it in brackets in for x in this equation right here. 
as it says right here, put the expression in brackets. So as we go on, we'll see in the steps that we need to now solve the equation, which now only has one variable in it. And the one variable we're using here is just y in this equation. So now that we've distributed, we have y equals 3 times y, which gives you 3y, and plus 3 times 1, which is 3. And then we just leave the plus 3 and bring it down on the end. And now, I rearrange, so I move my variable term to the left. That leaves me with y minus 3y. And on the right, I've just simplified the 3 plus 3, and that gives me 6. When I subtract the variable terms on the left, it gives me negative 2y equals 6. And when I divide by negative 2 on both sides, I am left with y equals negative 3. Now let's look at the next step. Once you get the value of one variable, which we have right here, y equals negative 3, put that value into either equation to solve for the other variable. So what I've done here is I took the y equals negative 3, and I've simply put it into this equation right here, x equals y plus 1. So now it becomes x equals negative 3 plus 1, because I have basically taken the y and put it into this equation right here. So negative 3 plus 1 evaluates to negative 2. And our final step is to write our solution as a coordinate, as we write points on a grid, x comma y. Therefore, our solution or our point of intersection is negative 2 comma negative 3, x negative 2, and y negative 3. What I mean by point of intersection is that if these two lines were to be graphed, they would meet at this intersection point right here. There's only one point on the whole grid that these two lines will meet, and this is that point, negative 2 comma negative 3. In some examples, you may have to actually rearrange the original equation so that a variable is isolated. In this example, I had already given you examples of equations that had isolated variables, but you're going to have to do that sometimes on your own as well. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and you learned a lot from it. Please like, subscribe, and leave any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions in the comment section below. And on that note, I'll see you next time.